Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I have this Seagate, excuse me, Western Digital one terabyte blue hard drive. If we get that oop, just a little bit closer we can see. And I'm going to be trying to repair this drive because I was pulling it out of my computer, doing a little bit of cable management, and uh, accidentally cracked the state on the back of these things. So we can see what the issue is there compared to let's take this PNY SATA drive for example that is what it's supposed to look like that little L-shaped crook there so once again in comparison between the two those little plastic SATA ooh, let's get that centered those little plastic SATA ports are extremely fragile um, and as I realized in mine, they can just pop off with a slight bit of force. So it's still in the drive cage here, so I'm going to take that out. Um, my plan, I'm not going to be able to repair this, obviously. So my plan is that I'm just going to try to take the data off of it. I have a four terabyte external drive back there, back it up, and then transfer it over to a new drive once I get a new one installed in my system. So. This is going to be just kind of a vlog type video, so let's just do this. I have USB to eSATA adapter, I've got a couple different SATA cables that I can try, another little USB adapter that came off another an older Seagate external drive. Maybe we can we can try to, to make this work. Because it's all just it's all just SATA. That's really all all it is. I think this is gonna be useful. Here my hypothesis is that I, I haven't broken as far as I can tell. I haven't actually broken any of the contacts there. There's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven contacts. And if we look at one of these PNY SATA drives, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, the, and I'm going to be using this as a reference. Um, so I don't believe I've fully broken anything. We'll just have to see. So let me get this uninstalled. Close it right. And you can see the super thin plastic that drive manufacturers use here. Even this little bit over there is bent. Let's unplug this adapter, get it set up, and then we'll we'll give it a shot. So this adapter is is kind of interesting. Because it's got this this neat little power adapter which just gives a 12 volt Molex signal, and then we have a Molex to SATA power adapter. So that will be our drive power, which we know was just going to fit right in there. Then, this is the interesting part. It doesn't just go right to, from SATA to USB. No, it actually goes from SATA to eSATA, or eSATA, and that's, say, let me get that to focus there. That's not a standard I've seen in a very long time. And then eSATA to USB. And then we have the USB cable over on this side. So if we plug that in, plugged in, and we're going to take that to eSATA. If we get the drive power plugged in, and we can hear it spinning up, so we're going to pull up a uh, drive window, let's pull up a disk manager window. and a device manager window as well. I got a mouse for this. I pulled that out just to avoid that exact possibility. So let's use that instead. Okay, so disk drives. All right, <clears throat> so now the moment of truth. Let's see if I can make this detect. So the 
the contacts for a SATA cable are on the top side in there, if it'll focus. Put it on the top side in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but up. So I just kind of have to apply perhaps a little bit of pressure. Okay, so the guide, this little broken piece of plastic, that's still there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this and see if I can bend these back one by one. If I can bend them back flat so that way I can use the little key, the keyed guide on the SATA cable to bring that back in. So we'll unplug that. Wait for that to spin back down. And then let's grab some tweezers. So let's see. I want to be very careful with these pins. I can get them all at once. I will. So I can't get a good grip on those. But if I just use this to bend them back straighter. One by one Okay, so let's see what that looks like if I just kind of put another Okay, there's not a lot of back and forth play there. Maybe, maybe I'll have luck if I'm able to just kind of push the cable up against it like that. Um, let's try. Let's get power. And there was a... Oh my god! Do we... I heard a thing, there was a... Stuff flashing. Okay, we can kind of see if, so we can all see if anything happens. We're looking at, you know, these two windows over here, try to see if this drive shows up. Trying to align. Those. I 
And there's nothing. Let's pull that power again. Yes, I know that's not ideal, but if I get, you know, if I end up with a non-working drive, then I've gone nowhere, right? And I haven't failed. So I'm going to bend actually these back down a little bit more. In theory, actually bending those back down might put a little bit more pressure on those SATA contacts. And I have no idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there was a sound. But, alas, no, nothing showed up, not over, not even over here in Disk Manager. So this, as we get some scissors, so this is a male to female SATA extender from a company called Cable Creation. So let's zoom in on that. So all that this is going to do here, this is just say to male to say to female, and that's that combo jack there. So the idea is that we're gonna be able to give this some extra rigidity by sticking this in there. It's gonna use this as it's going to use this side as uh, sort of a way to keep it in place. And it's going to give me kind of a rigid plug there now to plug my to plug my actual SATA cable into. Just remember, it has nothing guiding me over there on that right-hand side, and I really don't want to bend those pins. That went in just fine, but I'm not sure that it actually uh, made contact. That's going to be the next step there. We have to get that balance just right. So let's plug in our power. Let's zoom back out so we can see the computer screen too. So let's plug in power. And we've got our little SATA adapter. Going to plug that in as well. And look at that. Look at that. Man, I'm so happy that worked. We're just going to copy everything in here over to my external hard drive over here. So creating a new folder called this is a four terabyte Seagate external drive and paste. Now this was almost full uh, and I'm actually currently recording a video to this drive right now. Um, so that is going to be <laughs> a while before this copy is done, but I am so happy that we were able to get the the uh, the data off this drive. And look at this, we're back. Um, extremely happy that this is all done. It took us about 24 hours to get it all done, but indeed, if we look over here, ignore my OBS if we window. Look over here. There's everything in that HDD recovery folder. I am extremely happy. I had, oop, accidentally put some stuff in there. Had a whole bunch of old projects, whole bunch of old stuff in there that I'm, I'm very happy 
that I had. Uh, it is now going to go onto my four terabyte archive drive that I just got in today from Amazon. So I'm very happy to get that all back together. Anyways, thank you everybody again for watching. I'm very happy that this little male to female adapter worked so well. And again, shout out to my janky little inland thing for doing that as well. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next one.